everywhere we go. I mean, look at Lauren. Doesn't she look great? Too? Go <laughs> down to the five and ten. See if they'll let you. <laughs> in. He the made last that up. He did make that up. I made that up. I'm that pretty sure. We had to go. Something. <laughs> oh, I love my, my hat. I think hey, it's folks. magical. Good. Uh -huh. Good day. <laughs> Welcome to Just Plain Living. I'm John Gray. I'm Peggy Burton. Peggy I'm Burton. Elf Lauren. <laughs> Elf Lauren. <laughs> Elf Lauren. <laughs> and I'm Jim Fuller. <laughs> Love the hair. Are you any kin to Ralph? Ralph and Elf Lauren? Yeah. Don't you I wish? Am. Yeah. <laughs> but that old boy's having a big Lots Christmas, Christmas this year. Lots of Christmas things going on this week. Everything. Everything's it is going on. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We've got so the Manchester Art Center it's on the show today. Box. We've got right uh, Tuesday night if you're watching the show. We've got Old Town Christmas at South Jackson, yep. the you Fine Arts get out Building, of the chair. all over town actually. By the way, I went to the art show at the Fine Arts Building. What an awesome exhibit! Wasn't that something? Oh my gosh! Music. I thought that was beautiful. I loved it. You, all of you folks out there who haven't been and seen Michael Bush's exhibit at the Fine Arts Center of celebrating everything musical, you need to go see it, it because phenomenal. it is absolutely incredible what he's done. He has taken instruments and painted them. Well, and, and, not, then, and not just that, it's something to me about the color, the vibrant oh yeah, colors. Yeah. You feel energized when you go to this exhibit. Well, and, and also he's put in for a grant, and he, he painted the instruments, and then he painted a picture of the painted instrument that sits beside it. And, and cases and typewriters and he has a pair of shoes that, that, that he's painted that, it, that isn't at that exhibit. But what he's going to do is he has gone to the state and asked for a grant to record the sounds oh, of, cool. of those of each things, thing of each done. thing. So when, if a deaf person comes in there, not a deaf, if a blind person mm -hmm. comes in there, they, can hear. they will be able to feel the instrument and, and hit hear. a button and hear the music. Or he has a typewriter that he's done. You'll be able to touch the typewriter and hear the sound of an old typewriter keys with the with the the cylinder going back and forth. Shoes, click, uh, click, wing click tip shoes painted, mm -hmm. and then he'll you'll be able to hear the shoes walking on a wood floor. Huh. It, uh, it's just really it's, so it gets all it's of a the medium sensory to get all the senses. Uh, things involved. And Michael is just an incredible. You know, a lot individual. of people think maybe he's just somebody from over there in Bell Buckle, which that in itself is fine. But he is from Los Angeles, and he has moved into that area, and he did a lot of stuff for the movie Star yeah. Wars. He's, you know, he's a very he's the, great he's the artist. Only, he's the only person that painted all four of the Bruces, which was the name of the shark in Jaws. They called him Bruce. And he painted all four of them. There were four of them. And he painted on all four of them. There was also a shark called Bruce in Finding Nemo. Oh, was there? Yeah. yeah that's, why, that's why. Because of Jaws. Way to come in there, <laughs> Yep, cartoons. I I, I'm all about it. But yeah. it is. Hey, Philip, if you're ready, it is Christmas time. We uh, here at Channel 6 and Just Plain Living are excited about Christmas, and we have a little Christmas offering from us to you right now.
<laughs> that was really uh, That was a great surprise. I did not know we had that. Jib jab from us. Jib jab. That's folks. brought a lot of uh, uh, entertainment to people. These, uh, I, I guess they came out with this jib jab thing, what, two or three years ago? Two or three years mm -hmm. ago, yeah. yeah. Two or three yeah. years ago, yeah. Uh, like, uh, I, you I, elf yourself or something like yeah. that. I think, the <laughs> thing, I think the guys that did it, when they first did it, they did it around politics. And they had the first one that I ever saw had a politician in it. Now they were running for office or something like that. Look at, cute. Look at <laughs> this naughty little elf over here. Uh, I'm sorry, you were boring me talking about politics. He's boring talking about politics. Look at her. We, uh, we have good looking boys in the audience. Good looking studio. boys in the audience. That's right. She's smiling and They're happy. They're going to talk about sounds of Christmas. I think uh -huh. we actually still have that one, the one you're talking about. Do you? It was called the Sack Clinton Band. <laughs> when, back when, Sack uh, Clinton. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I remember yeah, that. Yeah, and uh, they, they superimposed. Uh, uh, some people, I guess Newt Gingrich and others that and Newt's were back to, again. Yeah, Newt's back again. You yeah. thought yeah. Newt had been gone yeah, under a rock, he's, never he's to, gone to the top and then to come, come back out, out and now he's now. He's right about <coughs> Mitt Romney. And you know, and it's so <laughs> funny. It's funny they talk about poor old Herman Cain got booted out because of because of his interaction with women and Gingrich has had more wives than Solomon. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not we don't sexual need to harassment if you marry first. It's, it's, it's funny, you know. No. It, yeah, what gets you thrown out one time, they bring you back the next time. It's okay. It's sort of like it's sort of like double jeopardy. Once they punish you that one time, you they, they can't. If you come back out, they can't do it again. That's a great idea. Air all your sexual dirty laundry yeah. right off. Political saw, double jeopardy. I saw somebody. Uh, I, I forget who did, posted this on Facebook, but they were talking talking about Newt and some sexual escapade he'd had back in 1977 and and the person Robert posted on Facebook said my goodness when does the statute of limitations <laughs> <laughs> run out on this stuff yeah. I mean we're <laughs> Guy couldn't help himself. Yeah, that's right. For goodness sakes, I'd hate to think oh, I was held accountable for something well, I might have done in 1977. Yeah, me either, and I was 12. <laughs> oh, me. But, you know, uh, like Peggy said earlier, folks, there is there are many, many things going on around, not just in this Telehoma, but Manchester and Shelbyville and this whole area. And uh, we want to let you know about as many of them as we can. Uh, we have, like, like we said, we have the guys from the Mac on and, and Jamie and Fuzz, and they're going to talk about their show that they have over there this weekend. Yeah, and I hope people would get off the couch and go check it all out. I mean, there's just so much happening. There around. is. There's a lot going on, and you know, everybody gets involved in the Christmas parades, and that's great. Go to the Christmas parade, but don't stop there. Yeah, go see go the, to the old things. Go to the old town stroll. Go to the Mac and see what they're doing over there. Uh, we had a great play at South Jackson this past weekend. We're going to bring you a little clip of that. It was a Christmas gift. I heard you were in it. I was in it. I brought the sweet potatoes. <laughs> I did. And, uh, and, you know, it was, it was a story that was written in, Ukraine, in the Ukraine, like in the 1600s. And, and it's, it's called The Spider's Gift is what it is. And so uh, Melissa Sharan and, and Colleen Saunders took that and wrote, made a... Made a play. They wrote it. Then, wrote yeah, a play for it. And we performed that to uh, almost a thousand school children on Friday. And then uh, two shows on Saturday. And it's just a wonderful thing. And I say that to say, folks, fine, if you need the spirit, this community, this area... There's a lot of things being done to give it to you, and so it's don't, live. don't buy a humbug. It's, it's live. Go find you yeah. some, go find you a place that where you can get excited and get the joy of Christmas in your heart. Actually, just pick something because there's so much stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sure. sometimes boils down to which do it, which can I do? So, okay, uh, so we're gonna watch a clip on that now. Uh, no, or we're later. gonna okay. we're gonna uh, bring these guys up here in just a minute because we were a little bit late starting, and they've got to. Make a run, they probably need to go. They need to go back to Which, work. Which, by the way, I'm pretty impressed with you guys. You know, we had a false start here. You know, we were <laughs> sitting in our chairs ready to, <laughs> to kick it off. They were going to roll the credits, and then we found out we were missing some pieces. So then we had to wait 30 minutes. Right. Before we, which usually that just throws and, you totally know, out of rhythm. Off, you know, so. threw us off. And we were brought back by the magic elf. Yes. Yeah. It's the holiday <laughs> season. We can't let that kind of stuff happen during the holidays. Is your band playing <laughs> over the, in the holidays? We are playing Friday night at Christ Community Church for uh, Jim Zidane's 
Christmas banquet there. People are invited to dance, to eat dinner. It's dinner dance. I, I don't know if there's still tickets, but there might be. And Good. I don't have the number. So in do y'all play quite a bit during the holiday season? This right now, that's all we're doing this holiday season. Okay. Because people are doing a lot of a lot of my musicians do church things and events. Well, that's true. There's so, so much going yeah. on that it's hard to to spread. Jim, did we not have? I I forgot to bring the paper out here, but. Uh, Vicki Collinsworth and Kyle Copeland are playing in oh, an event yes. at the high school. Uh, Monday, to, this coming Monday. I it's think it's it a week from tonight, yeah. from last night. Right. And that is at the Tullahoma High School, and that is a benefit for band, East Middle School band? I believe it's East Middle School. I'm, I don't recall it being the band, but I think it's a benefit. And they're doing it at the high school. school. Yes. yes, in the auditorium. And, and nice. Vicki okay, Vicky, Vicky is an incredible, incredible musician. musician. She's... Uh, you will see the, uh, during the holiday season, we have the Grace Baptist Church, the Lions Club uh, and community concert, piano. and she played the piano for that, as, as did Kyle Copeland, who plays with her, was the drummer. But it's uh, important to note that Vicki not only is a great musician as a person on a, an instrument, she writes music. Yes, yeah, she's a composer. She writes and arranges music, so, so yeah. very original. We're very fortunate at our church to have her be our mm -hmm. my, Pianist there. Your church so, being First, first Christian. Christian Church. And we have a little bit of that we're going to show you. You guys just on. jump right in I'm there. I'm sorry. I just keep thinking of inappropriate, disrespectful things to say. Sweet potatoes and pianists. And <laughs> I think I better just sit here Folks, quietly. we're sorry, but you know, we, we sometimes we have a hard time controlling Lauren. But. It's the hell fat. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what we better do right now. We better go to a commercial break. That's a good idea. And we'll be right back with the rest of the show. Buckle up, folks. <laughs> Why Traders Bank? The convenience of five locations near you. 2695 Deckard Boulevard, Winchester. 1207 Hillsborough Boulevard, Manchester. 1602 North Main Street, Shelbyville. 412 West Lincoln Street, Tullahoma. 120 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. Why Traders Bank? The service of 61 friendly, knowledgeable employees meeting your banking needs. We're Traders Bank in Winchester. Come see us. We're Traders Bank in Manchester. Come see us. We're Traders Bank in Shelbyville. Come see us. We're Traders Bank on West Lincoln Street in Tullahoma. Come see us. We're Traders Bank. Come see us. Why Traders Bank? The stability of 122 years, locally owned and operated, banking under the same name. Traders Bank. Why Traders Bank? Because you're welcome here. Traders Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. These are the children who had no chance. They're known as Brazil street kids. They wander the streets dying by the thousands from drugs, AIDS, and bullets. Most of them have been abandoned, left to survive on their own. These children needed a place to go. I had to do something. So I brought it up at Rotary. People heard about what we were doing and asked how they could help. Together, we raised funds to give them a home and open the school. They're learning a trade. Now hundreds of kids have a family and a future. They're contributing to the community because Rotary believes in making things better for everyone. Rotary is making a difference right now. They have hope. Rotary gives people an opportunity to help. Back to just plain living. I am sitting on this set today with Jamie Harden and Cliff Roberts. Jamie is the director of a show that's coming off in uh, Manchester at the Arts Center this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, ma'am. Right. Give us the times. Uh, this Thursday uh, is at 7 p.m. Fridays at 7 p.m. We have two shows on Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. and then Sunday at 2 p.m. So it's five so shows. So you close Sunday. Oh, that's great. Five shows in one weekend. Well. If yeah, your oldest show 
is an example of how good it's going to go. You're going to have a packed house every we night. We hope so. I know you will. I was curious about that. How much does it cost? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Flat rate, everybody. Kids, everybody adults, plays ten, ten dollars that's, a year. That's, that's, that's a steal, really. It's a great deal. Yes, and you all usually have some art exhibits going on yes. and maybe a few things for sale, possibly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Concessions, Hot chocolate whatever. and apple cider, I know for sure. That sounds good to me. And Christmas cookies. Maybe. Yeah. yeah oh, <laughs> is maybe. this the first year or the second year you've done this? This is the third year, Third year actually. already yeah. that third you've year. done this. Mm -hmm. And you found out it worked really well, didn't you? It's So far, it's went really good for us. Cliff, what great thing are you doing in this show? Oh, I'm doing a few solos and uh, I'm doing Christmas in Dixie, uh, Alabama. Oh, that's and, a good one. And uh, Jingle Bells, uh, a version that Brian Setzer is uh, oh, doing. I'm familiar so. with that one. Right. And it really jazz. it's pretty jazzed up. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit crazy, but. Uh, are you running this show similar to your oldest show where you are. have uh, some stuff going on yes, in between songs? And we, we changed it a little bit from years past. T past two years we've done a traditional cantata, you know, yeah. musical. This year it's more in line with the oldie show. We've got different genres. We've got country, we've got Andrew Sisters, Bing Crosby, Fantastic. Trans Siberian Orchestra. Dance, dance. song, dance, oh, yeah. orchestra. Do you have, I mean, yes. a band? Live band. Is it the same it's band? The same that band you from use? the oldie well, show. They are wonderful. Except for one or two. Robert Hires is playing with us. Oh, a lot of people is from he? Tullahoma know Robert. Yeah, I know um, Robert well. And, uh, and then the second half, you know, kind of takes a more serious turn and goes to the, the traditional nativity yeah. scene. For all the women out there, they're wondering if you're going to have a bubble bath for Christmas. <laughs> no, 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 we'll have to save that. That might be the late night show. We're, we're still, Lauren and I are still talking about that from the oldest show. Yeah. No, I'm uh, actually playing a donkey in this show. Oh, so okay. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even have to audition. I just gave that part. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to say, the four guys that you sing with, or is that same four? Yes. Still involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, are, what are some of the songs actually that y'all are producing? Well, uh, we're actually doing a uh, uh, Christmas canon. We're doing two Christmas canons. We're doing the Christmas canon that our, our girls' choir is doing. And we're also doing the Christmas canon rock. Oh, that'll Trans be nice. Trans Siberian orchestra version. Yeah. That's two totally different feels. Uh, we're doing Rock Around the Christmas Tree. Um, Christmas Island, uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And, Just a uh, wide, mm -hmm. wide variety. Yes. I'm curious for one thing. Do you audition or do you have a set group of people that's audition, pretty much ready to go? Well, we have almost 50, uh, probably over 50 people in the oh, choir. We have a wonderful. background choir. Yeah. I audition the soloist. Okay. And um, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to audition to be in the choir. Now, do you choose the music prior to or do yes. you let them sometimes bring their own ideas They can in? give me ideas. Yeah, but you have it set up in yeah, your head. Pretty much. And I think you're a phenomenal director and I think you. your head is so full of ideas. Too many yes, sometimes. So. <laughs> full, of, full of something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we, do, we do audition some of the parts. And of course, we have, we're also doing uh, Brooke Hazen, which people are familiar with in Manchester, is doing Oh Holy Night. And it's just unreal. That uh, it's, sounds it's really, wonderful. Really good. We've got uh, Chris Sullivan in uh, the show also. And he just got off. Uh, he's, oh, he's, he's the clown. Come yeah, he is. Right? He, got, right. off the, he yeah. got off the Barnum and Bailey train and came straight to the Art Center. That is yeah. wonderful. So, so we're happy to have him. Oh, I, Chris Sullivan's done a lot over here as well mm -hmm. as a lot in Manchester. 728-3434 for tickets. And I honestly think you really do need reservations. And there's a website that you can get tickets yes, on the website, which I can't read unless I put my glasses on. You want to tell them what yes, that is? Yes, ma'am. It's, it's actually, you can, you can call the number 728-3434 and, and it's and forwarded and it directs you. Or oh, okay. you can go to the ManchesterArtsCenter.com website and it will give you a link to Millennium. Of course, we're tied in with Millennium, right. and you can go to Millennium, um, MillenniumRepertory.org, I believe it is. And three ways you can get there, but the easiest way is to call a number that take you right to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can pick your seat now. You can get on the oh, seating chart. Pay and for you your, can see. Yes. Well, all the seats ticket. are good over there. Th there's there are not no a bad, bad seats right. at yeah. the Art Center in Manchester. I right. love that little theater. You can I think pick it your is seat. Really nice. You can pick your seat, or you can do it traditionally. Just make a reservation and pick your seat. You know, when you get in there. Now, in some cases, if you buy online, you get a little better deal. But I never have understood that. But it's just a flat ten. But if you well, buy online, it's eleven it's or twelve. 11. It's eleven. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. fair. Yes, yeah, eleven. Yeah. Well, you pick your seat. Mm -hmm. you, you walk in. You get your ticket. You tickets already. Go to your seat. You can have hot chocolate while everybody else is standing yes. in line. I mean, that's <laughs> that's worth a miss? dollar. <laughs> Cliff, how long have you been singing? Oh gosh, uh, probably since I was about, mm, I started in church when I was a kid, so yeah. that's been all my life pretty much. And, and you said you went part-time to Manchester to school and part-time mm -hmm. to Tullahoma. Yeah, I graduated from Tullahoma. So what do you do when the big uh, ball game comes up? 
<laughs> I sit on the Tallahoma <laughs> side. Oh, do you? <laughs> you graduated in Tallahoma, yeah. is that it? Uh -huh. I guess that's what you have to do. Yeah, I get a lot of grief from that. Yeah. So. <laughs> get well, nasty I, have, I have watched both of you perform, and, and I don't know if you ever got my email. I, I emailed I you about your you yes, four guys, I thought I'd go on the road. I mean, I think you are better than anything I've seen in Vegas. So <laughs> anybody you. that misses this show, you're missing an opportunity to see a wonderful, fun show, fun show. Plus, the money goes to a good cause. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. It yes, goes to keeping the Art Center mm -hmm. in Manchester open and viable to the public. And I know you have a children's show coming up that I feel like we ought to mention. Mm -hmm. I think it's the 22nd. Do you know? It's oh, going to yes. be a one-day. That's the... Uh, that's the Wag. The Little Tiny People. Uh, the We Actors Guild. I believe it's Snafu Santa Workshop. Yes, that's what and, it uh, is. That's the 22nd. And uh, you can go ahead and get tickets for that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good for children as well as adults. Who doesn't love a Christmas show anytime right. around the Christmas holidays? Yeah. Well, do you want to talk about any of your character, any of your people besides the two of you that are in the show? Oh, yes, ma'am. We've got. Nice. This is the most talented group of people that really? we've ever had together. And it'll get more and more. It, as it will. It's, That's um, the way it goes. There's several really good ones. Like I say, uh, we're really excited about the different types of music. We have a, a country Christmas section. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the country line dancing, all that going on. See, I we, think that's a smart thing to do. It is. There's, there's, a, there's every kind of type of music. From classical in there. Yes. to jazz to rock to blues. Yes, right. You it's name all it, there. you've got it. Right. It's not just your everyday songs that go along with right, Christmas. Right, right. I've got one that I need to tell you about mm -hmm. somebody's got to use, but I won't tell you about it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it, it, I've never heard it produced. Anyway, yeah. I'll tell you about it at some point. Uh, I think that anyone that feels like there's not enough to do in Tallahoma, Manchester, Shebbeville, McMinnville, Sparta, wherever you live, if you'll just go to the newspaper, go to your TV show, and find out what's happening locally. I yes, think it's so important to support local people. Any last words? No, just go to and call the number 728-3434, and we, we really think it's going to be our best Christmas show and something for everybody. Thank you for coming, Thank you. Jamie. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Clint. You, for having you guys are great. We'll be yeah. back with some other madness on this show. Thank you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm Mike Thompson, and we own Thompson Ford in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Lori and I bought the dealership back. It's on Highway 55. Same dealership that we had for 10 years. Look forward to serving you for another 10. Thank you to the community. Thank you for allowing us to be here for the last 15 years. Thank you for having us raise our family here. Thank you for all your support. It's been a great place. It's a great place to live. Look forward to living here. Put me in the ground here. I'd be proud to do it. God bless America, and God bless Tennessee. Our office used to look like this, but now with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here, a big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spend hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper-free, right? Thank you. My paper-free office from RJ Young. It's that easy. Howdy folks, this is Lonnie Spiker. You've probably heard some of my material on Willie's Place on Satellite XM Sirius Radio. Did you know, however, that you can buy my autographed CDs right here at Jim Oliver's Smokehouse in beautiful Mount Eagle, Tennessee? Not only can you get my CDs, but you also get a lot of great independent artists here, such as Duke Zecco or Jason Lee Wilson. Not only that, they have one of the best CD videos of the Moonshiner from Mon Eagle. You guessed it, Hamper McVee. Stop on out and pick up some of your favorite music right here at the Smokehouse. And the Smokehouse has got some of the best homemade fried pies. Shelby's getting one for me right now, as a matter of fact. They have specials every day. Today's specials are caramel, apple cinnamon, peach, and lemon. Make sure you pick one up. I had two this morning.
can overcome. That is where your contributions to the Salvation Army go. folks we're back and earlier I told you that there was a play this past weekend at South Jackson Civic Center uh, Christmas gift and it was uh, written by Melissa Sharan and Colleen Saunders around a Ukrainian story that was done back in the 1800s called uh, spiders the gift of the spiders and uh, we're gonna bring you an interview here and a little bit of that play well, we were asked to um, to write a play or, or find a play, and we decided we would write one. We tried to decide what uh, what we wanted to base it on, and since my husband is uh, Ukrainian, um, I kind of thought it would be kind of fun to do the, the spider's gift, and that's actually one of our Colleen and my favorite stories, so that's what we decided to base it on. Well, we, we uh, have, have been friends for a long, long time, but we have taught preschool together. And one of the things that we used to do quite a bit in the preschool program was to work on folk tales because we both loved folk tales so much. And this was one of our favorites. So it just kind of all fell together, I think. And it worked out really well. I think it, it, it turned out we did a lot of talking and thinking and writing over while we were eating lunch. and doing a lot of other things but and it finally just all came together and this is this is the friday of the of the weekend where we've done three shows on friday had almost a thousand school children yes. in here <laughs> and uh, absolutely a marvelous experience uh, i know that the two of you friends the the thing that's so unique about the two of you is you you have two sort of different skill sets and so when you when you when you go to to go together uh you know you're taking care of maybe the creative side more and Colleen's taking care of the of the paperwork and and but it just seems like you're not overlapping each other that much. You, you work real well together. Oh, we do. We work very well together. And I've, I always laugh and say, you know, Colleen, it takes both of our brains to make one good one. <laughs> so, but we do work well together. And I wouldn't necessarily say I'm the most creative character. She is very, very creative. Oh, I know that. But y'all y'all, sort of have a different different hands-on things probably. that you deal with. Yeah, there are a which lot makes of it a little bit easier because you're not both trying to do the same thing. You're, we don't sit there and fight over who's going to say what next because yeah. we generally finish each other's sentences yeah. anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Those people that were sisters. <laughs> well, I tell you what, this, is, this has been a great experience and I know a lot of these young people who are here today yeah, this is something that's going to be in their mind for a long time. I hope so. And, and this might be the very thing that makes Christmas for some of these young folks and gets them into the spirit. Uh, it's a wonderful story, folks. Uh, if you don't have an opportunity to see it here, you know, find a way to find the book and read the book and understand what the story is about. It's a wonderful it's, it's, story. It's a really, really good story. And... Just being here with these two makes it a good story for me. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of stuff that makes my Christmas because this is where it all starts, right here with the heart. You're right. And a good story. Yes, it is. All right. Thanks, Thank ladies. You. Thank you, John. Michael! Thank you. 
now that we're all here, we need to talk about Christmas this year. I want to give you a 